sometimes I feel like I want to embellish what happened just to make it interesting for me. So I say like, well, this arm was bitten off by a shark when I was surfing. This arm I had to eat off that time I was stuck in a mine. And this leg I lost when I, I went back to kick the ass of the shark that bit my arm off. <laughs> The doctor said, we really don't know what's going on with you, but it sounds like an infection. I had no inkling that anything really tragic was about to happen. When I woke up, I just said, I want to live, I want to live, I want to live, I want to live. I guess I was his boyfriend, and then after he got sick, I was his partner. <laughs> I moved in with him because he would have nobody else to help him. Doctors have done their first successful double hand transplant on a 65-year-old Revere man. Unbelievable, back and forth at the pool. The fantasy that one could donate a part of the body to someone else is very old. Our imagination has predicted or forecasted what may be coming in the future. One of the things that I'm hoping for with getting the arm transplants is that I'll be able to take back on a lot of the things that I've lost, but I will also have to go on drugs which have potential side effects. Those are frightening prospects. If it were my body, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> there are risks involved in any type of surgery or potentially death. Is there anything that I can answer for you? Where do I sign? Okay. 